Well, my name is Spencer. I uh, live in a home that uh, was built in 2005, and I just want to talk to you about this little valve right here that's underneath your uh, sink or underneath your kitchen sink or underneath your bathroom sink. Uh, it's a push uh, shut off valve, and they're getting old, and they come with a, a hose on it that's getting uh, old and brittle. And in our neighborhood, we've lost or we've had a few houses that have been flooded because of this valve. So I want to show you how to replace it and what parts you'll need for that. First thing you want to do before you uh, go ahead and take this valve off underneath the sink is you want to come outside on your side of your house and you want to shut off the main water line. So this particular valve right here is for your sprinklers and this one right here will shut the water off to your home. So you want to make sure you shut this off before you remove any valves. I want to go over a few items you're going to need. You need a towel for when you disconnect your old holes and some of the water runs out. You want it running over the bottom of your cabinet. We'll also have this hose here you're going to need. It's a half inch by three eighths. And we have a shark bite, which I chose to use. It's just a push on. It's really simple to use. It's a half by three eighths. I have a 17 millimeter wrench and a 7 eighths wrench. I also have this razor blade that you will need, or you can use maybe some scissors or whatever to cut this hose because it'll be in your way when you go to twist it off. And when you get this valve and you it's, you try to pull on it, it won't come off. But what you want to do is you want to just pull on a little bit and you want to turn it counterclockwise and it'll come right off. There we go. There you go. You see it comes off pretty easy. And to remove that valve, you just pull it towards you a little bit and you twist counterclockwise. As you twist counterclockwise, it should come right off. You can make sure you turn your faucet on at the top so you drain all the water out before you remove this. There we go. Came right off. Alright, so after you, you remove the valve, you're going to want to clean the end of the pipe with this Scotch Brite, or you can use some emery cloth. You want to remove your valve from the package, and you can see on the back. It's really simple. All you have to do is put it forward and you just shove it on. And anyway, one of the things you might want to do is remove this little nut because you're going to need that off of there. And you put that on that end after you install it on your uh, copper pipe that's underneath your sink. And that's it for this video. Just check and make sure periodically, make sure your water lines aren't leaking and the shutoff valve is. Good and secure. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and like it, and uh, we'll make, be making more. So we sure appreciate you watching. Thanks.